I'd say the, I don't know, the coolest thing about customizing a bike or, you know, just making a bike different, it's just, you get to take and put your personality into, you know, an object. Motorcycles are a beautiful place to start, you know. Motorcycles are just a great platform for, for tricking stuff out or customizing it or changing it. Everything's so visible, the motors are so visible. If you get anything wrong, you can see it. So you really have to get everything right. Every little piece, every little nugget on the machine has to be correct or has to flow with the rest of the bike because there's no hiding it. Hey, what's up? I'm Roland Sands and welcome to Roland Sands Design. I was born into a motorcycle family. Um, and that pretty much kind of sealed my fate from the beginning. Um, my dad was always into, into bikes and had a motorcycle company, so I kind of rode right along with him on that. And uh, just motorcycles have been a part of my life since I can remember. So I raced for about 10 years. So I raced from 92 to 2002. My last race was 2002. I raced, uh, got second at Laguna Seca in the AMA 250 GP race, so kind of ended on a high note. Yeah, those are my old race leathers. A lot of pain on that wall. Yeah, this this one hurt. I'd like to say I remember this crash, but I think I got knocked out, so I'm gonna pretty much shredded my whole side. Yeah, I, I think that I don't know inspiration for building comes from a lot of different places, but um, I mean it's kind of like everyday life. There's things that you know pop into your head and stick with you, and you try to take those and apply them somewhere else. You know, maybe it's a painting someone's done, maybe it's a building, maybe it's the way that, you know, the grate on a sidewalk is, or just kind of anything, any kind of weird thing I notice, try and take and just save it up in a little bank and kind of apply it to different places on the bike. So we had all these art pieces, we're like, let's just hang this stuff up and just, instead of having a bunch of junk in shelves and cover, cover it all up with art. For us, the future of our product is just going to be continue to expand it, you know? Um, give people a little bit more options, um, different styles of product but really be able to continue to transform people's bikes with our product lines, you know, and do it kind of um, cohesively across the whole bike. I've always used k and you know, on pretty much anything that I've done. If it had to do with filtering a motor or filtering the intake, I was using k and um, I mean, we, when we looked to do an air cleaner, the k and was, you know, kind of like our, our basis for what and how we designed our product around the filter, you know. Um, I mean, you, can't, you just can't get better filtration. It does the job and increases performance. It lasts, you can wash it. You know, it's, it's in the long run, it's economically, it's economically the right decision. The products that we sell with k and filters, um, I think what we've done with that product is kind of saw in the marketplace there was a bit of an opening, and for us, we wanted to offer something that was a higher price point um, and something that wasn't available yet. And we kind of opened up like a new market segment, a higher price point segment, you know? And it's easy to do that when you have the best performing filter in the market um, and then our design wrapped around that. Um, so you got the high performance, you got something that's lightweight, works really well and looks the balls, you know? So yeah, I just want to say thanks for, thanks for coming out to the shop. Guys, thanks for uh, checking it out. Coming out to Roland Sands Design, we're located in Los Alamitos, California. We got a, cool showroom here you can come and check out the the hard parts the gear the motorcycles and um, check out www.rollandsandsdesign for more information thanks